Laura and I'm here with Dr. Chatur. Hi, can you give Hi. us a little bit about your background and your startup experience? Yeah, um, I'm a chemical engineering professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Uh, and, and to uh, give you some perspective on the company, uh, you know, nine years ago, my daughter was born and she was born prematurely. And so one of the first things that they do is take an x-ray, you know, do a bunch of these tests. And the physician came back and said, oh, it looks like I see some shadows on the x-ray. So they said, you know, she likely has pneumonia. And so they started pumping her with antibiotics. And this is a pre preemie child. And so we were all really concerned about giving her antibiotics based on some x-ray. And of course, they took a blood sample. And then three days later, uh, the results came back and said, oh, no, she doesn't have pneumonia, so stop the antibiotics. So that really got me thinking as to why, when the bacterium is present at time zero, why is it we cannot determine the presence or absence of the bacterium and then appropriately make a decision? Mm. So I said, there must be a solution. And of course, I'm an engineer, and mm. I said, we can work out a solution. So we, when I came back to the campus, worked on the problem, devised a solution, and you know, solve that problem, and then said, you know, and then form the company to see if you can advance this idea, so that you know others will not have to go through what I went through when our right. child was born. Okay, so that great. was really exciting. Yeah. And like you said you're an um, engineer by trade. I am. You're running the company. What um, ex uh, experience can you share with entrepreneurs out there on how to run a business? Well, that's a good question. In fact, I. I I have to admit, I said I don't have a lot of experience running a business, and so one of the things that I learned early on is, you know, I took a stock of my um, skill sets, as it were, and I said, okay, there are certain things I know, I know how, what to do, but I had some very good friends around me that I talked to, and I said, you know, what do I need to do in order to be able to both form a business and the run it and be successful with it? And the best advice they told me was that you know try to identify and get some right people who would share my passion about the uh, company, but also help me grow. And more importantly, have a certain skill set that I don't have that will help me grow the company, oh. which is what I did. And so, and we were able to raise some money for the mm -hmm. company, uh, and then so we're on our way. That's fantastic. So. Now, Startup America has four different stages. Right. We have the idea stage, the startup phase, ramp up, and speed up. What stage would you say you're in? I'd say we're in the startup phase. We okay. have, um, we won a business plan competition, wow. uh, raised $100,000, and then we raised angel funding for $100,000, oh. and then we are in, in now going to be raising some additional monies, angel monies. So we are in the point that we are about to take off almost, but yeah. we're certainly in the startup stage. Oh, congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. Great, and to wrap up, what's an inspirational story that you'd like to share with others on how to succeed in the market, especially if they're having troubles and, and failure? Well, I guess, you know, one of the things, uh, one of the other things I do other than the company stuff is I, I, I'm a fan of nonfiction books. So I've been really um, read a lot of different books about companies that have struggled and that have um, you know, succeeded after having had a lot of failures in the market and so forth. So, for example, the one of the angel investors in our company, actually, he has uh, started a um, communications company in, in Huntsville. And then there was a book written about his experience mm -hmm. in the company that I've read. And it, it told me about out-of-the-box thinking, about hiring the right people, about growing a culture within a company, and then more importantly, being passionate about the idea and the products, and then to move it forward. Okay. So I'm really lucky because I'm, yeah. in, I'm surrounded by a lot of different people who, who actually want to see me succeed, yeah. and so they have helped me enormously right. as we go forward. So in that sense, I'm in the right place. I have a lot of right number of people I can talk to. Uh, okay. And it's going to be an exciting ride. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.